Hello one and all, my name is Ryan Bruce, my friends call me Fluff, and today we're gonna talk about a day in the life on tour. So I've now been on tour for right around two months. We get to go home next week as I shoot this. My voice is hoarse and nice and deep and broken in and frankly, worn out from screaming every night and having few days off. Well, today is basically the last day off on the entire tour before we get to go home. And I thought I would take you guys through a typical day on tour. So let's go ahead and start where I am right now at the hotel. Now, I don't always get my own hotel room, although often I will get my own hotel room so I can make content and videos like this one without bothering the other guys. But if I don't do that, normally we sleep two, three, sometimes four people into a single room. The band will get two rooms. We will roll in typically at about 2 a.m. And that's where our, uh, our day starts. So waking up nice and fresh, I typically will grab a cup of coffee. We have, you know, depending on the time that van call is, van call is the time that everyone has to be at the van. Otherwise you get left behind. Literally, you will get left behind. Um, typically this is 10 a.m. to noon, somewhere around there, depending on how long we have to drive to the venue. This will all make sense in just a second, I promise. Once we get to the van, we will make typically a single stop for things like coffee, snacks, lunch, etc. These are locations like Love's, Flying J, Bucky's, things like that. But other than that, we are now driving to the venue. Typically, because we refuse to drive overnight, we will drive after the show about, uh, about two hours, sometimes three. Um, we'll drive until you know 1 a.m., 2 a.m., find a hotel, sleep for sometimes six hours, sometimes less, sometimes more and then make up that difference that we need to uh, get in distance during the day. We have found that driving long distances and killing ourselves overnight really was kind of pointless because we would drive overnight to get to the next city that we were playing in that night, only to get to our hotel at 8 a.m. and we would have to pay for an extra day in order to you know, go to sleep because check-in is typically not until you know one or two or three o'clock in the afternoon when the hotel day starts. So we just get a hotel, we sleep, and then we tackle the drive in the morning. Once we get to the venue, the established time of the venue load-in is, is executed. So typically in our case on this tour, it's generally about three o'clock we show up at the venue, we meet the day of show contact, and we start loading in and get ready for a sound check, which our time is typically from three o'clock to 4.30. Now in this time slot, we have we have to load in, we have to put everything together, uncase everything, fire everything up, you know, uh, search for wireless frequencies, sound check, and then do uh, a meet and greet with fans. And that's, you know, the VIP package that they can get and they come early and they get to hang out, they get to watch sound check, they get like to, uh, they get to give us uh, song suggestions that they want to hear uh, during sound check. And then we will have a little Q and A, uh, sign some posters and they get a discount at the merch booth. Uh, this is typically our meet and greet and uh, everyone seems to have a really good time with the meet and greet. Next comes no man's land. Now, after the band is done with the meet and greet, we now have nothing to do until showtime, which is typically about 930 or 10 o'clock. So I have, you know, four, sometimes five hours to either get something to eat get a nap if it was a really early day, um, go see a city, go visit a friend. In Nashville, I visited my friend Mark Lewis and Kevin Scaff. And yeah, sometimes, actually a lot of the times, it's literally just sitting in the green room at the venue if there is a green room and playing on your phone and relaxing and trying to just kind of catch your proverbial breath before having to go and play a show. Now, once showtime approaches, I typically like to give myself about 30 minutes to go ahead and warm up. I will uh, grab my guitar, I will start doing just some basic playing, some no nonsensical playing because I can't hear the guitar anyway. Just to get my fingers warmed up, I will do stretches for my legs, for my arms, for my neck, for my back, just so I can get into show mode. And that's time to play a show. 
Drag Dunder's current show, headlining show, is about 45 minutes in length. Uh, we will play the show, we will get done, and then we will, since we're headlining, we don't immediately have to get our stuff off the stage, and we will mingle with fans and kind of hang out for about 30 or 40 minutes or so before we start the process to pack all of the gear up and put it in the trailer. Now, once the gear is in the trailer and it's time to go, this entire process that I just laid out now repeats. We decide how long we wanna drive that night. For example, if the next venue is four hours away, then we will drive an hour that night, sleep in until you know 11 o'clock, and then drive the rest of the way at 11, beginning at 11. This gives us ample time to sleep. We're not up super, super crazy late, but a typical day, we are up until about one or 2 a.m. And that's that's normal, that's not bad. It's when you get into like the four or 5 a.m. range where it gets, uh, it, gets, it gets real bad, it gets brutal. And that's it, that's literally a day on tour. Rinse and repeat that for two months and that has been my life since June, if you wanna include the Europe run that we just did as well. That's, yeah. <laughs> I want to go home. If you have any questions, comment down below and uh, I'll, I'll get to them. Uh, I'm sure you guys have some pretty interesting questions that I am not thinking of. And uh, shout out to Sweetwater for sponsoring this video and the Upright Animals Tour that Drag Dunder is now completing at the time of this filming. Uh, for all of your gear needs, head on over to sweetwater.com. I will link down below in the description. And with that, you've been wonderful. I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time.